kindergarten. I really, really miss you guys. I hope you're having fun as you've been working at home. Miss Davis and I are so proud of you and we know that you guys are doing a great job. So I'm here today to do our next phonics lesson. So you're gonna need to go get your letter cards and I'm gonna tell you which ones you need for today's activity. You're gonna need your letter A, E, K, M, R, S, and T. So I'm gonna give you a minute if you need to pause the video and get those cards out, go ahead and do so now. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue. So I want you guys up on your feet. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna practice our letters and our letter sounds before we get started. All right, so first one. A says, ah, 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 flam. E says, eh, 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 hen. K says, k, 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 camera. M says, mm, 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 monkey. R says, er, er, er. And T says t, 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 timer. Awesome, good job, guys. All right, Miss McCoy is going to go ahead and clear these off because we don't need these ones right now. All right, so we're going to work today on building some words. We're going to start out super easy. So this should be what? That's right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so I'm going to clear off our first set of letters. Okay, and the first word I'm going to ask you to build only has three letters. So it's a short vowel sound. The word is mat. Mat. M. A. T. Good. So that first sound that we hear, mm, what letter makes that mm sound? Good, our letter M. A, A, that's right, that's our A. So we have M, mm, A, MA, good. That last sound, T, T, you got it, timer. So when we blend these all together, we have the word m, a, t, ma, t, ma, t. Good job. Now what if I wanted to change this word just a little bit? Instead of mat, what if I wanted it to say met, met? Mm. What changed? The vowel sound changed, didn't it? So we don't want our ah sound. We want our eh sound in the middle. What says eh, boys and girls? Oh, you guys are so smart, e. Let's try it. Mm, eh, t, me, t, me, t. Good job, oh, you guys are so good. All right, let's try one more. What about sat, sat? Good, you know that first sound, the sausage sound. All right, let's get our S and A, A. Good, A. So right now we have A, SA. And we're ready for t. What makes that t sound? Oh, you guys are good. T. Sat. Good. Now, what if I wanted to change sat to the word set? It's kind of like what we just did with mat and met. We need to change our vowel sound, our middle sound. So we're going to take away the a. And what says a? Good. E. 
just by changing one letter, we can make a whole new word. Set. Set. Good job. All right. So now we're going to get a little bit harder. We're still going to use some short vowel sounds, but we're going to use four letters to build our words, okay? All right, so I'm going to give you a task, ooh, to build the word task. A task is really kind of another word for a job. So I'm going to give you the task or the job of building the word task. So the first sound we hear is Good T. Ah, ah, a. So now we have. Oh, Miss McClay has to find it. T, ah, ta. Good. Tas. What says S? Good job. change this word task into the word mask. Mm, like our favorite superheroes sometimes wear a mask. We're only going to change one letter. Do you know what that letter is? Good job. We're going to change the very first sound. What should it be? What sound do we hear at the beginning of mask? That's right, we hear the mm, the letter M. Mm, ah, mask, mask. Great job, boys and girls. All right, guys, great job. So now if you look up at my pocket chart, you'll see two cards. We know the first one is our short A, and everybody knows short A says ah. But the special thing about the letter A is it is what we call a vowel. Good job, can you say that with me? Vowel. And the cool thing about vowels are that they make two sounds. They have a short sound and they have a long sound. Now when they make their long sound, all they do is say their name. So a short sound, A, and it's long sound, A. Good job. So now when A is by itself, normally it's going to say A. But it needs a helper, a friend, to help it say its name and make its long sound. Do you know who that helper is? <gasps> Excellent! The helper is the letter E. Now, E has a really cool job because E's job is just to stay quiet. E doesn't say anything. E is going to help A say its name and make its long vowel sound. So we call this our A and something's missing. What's missing is a consonant, another letter. So this is what we call A consonant E. Good job. So if I took another letter, a consonant, and I put it in the middle of my A and my E, I'm going to slide it right in there. Now, we know E's job, everybody, is just to stay quiet. Good job. And it's going to help A make its long sound or make A say its name. So, A, and what's this? T. Good. And E doesn't say good anything. So we have A, T, ate. T. Good job. I wonder what you ate for breakfast today. Mrs. McCoy, can I tell you a secret? 
I had some cake. I know that's not normally a good healthy breakfast choice, but it was it was really yummy. So I ate <laughs> cake this morning. Silly Mrs. McCoy. I'll make sure to have a really healthy lunch. Good. Oh now what if we try building another long A word? So I'm gonna take out one more. I can't hold you. Can you go yet, buddy? I'm gonna take out our letter T. We still need A. And we still need E because E makes A make its long sound. That's good. So we're gonna try the word take. Take. Now the first sound, the sound I hear at the beginning of take. T -t 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 Timer. Good. So we're gonna take our letter T and we're gonna put it at the beginning. T A. Now the sound that's missing is the letter that says k, k. So look at your letters that are left. What letter says k? Good, the letter K. And remember, what's the letter E say? That's right, E doesn't say anything. He's quiet. So we built the word take. T A. challenge. So Mrs. McCoy has three words that I want you to build. So these three words, I'm not going to spell them, but I'm going to give you a clue. I'm not even going to tell you what the words are. You're going to have to figure out the word based on my clues. So you're going to build three words. Oh Mrs. McCoy's not going to tell you what they are. You're going to have to figure them out based on my clues. So it's kind of like a puzzle. All right, so my first word. I'm going to take all my letters down because you don't. Okay. One more. Hold on, buddy. You don't need these letters down. Yeah. All right, so the first word you're going to build has three letters. So I'll give you a clue. And it's an animal. And it looks kind of like a mouse. Hmm, I wonder what animal looks kind of like a mouse. It has three letters. Okay, that's your first challenge. Here's your second challenge. This one is a name, a person's name. It also has three letters. And I'll give you a hint. We have a friend with this name in room five. So if he's watching, I hope he gets it right away. But you're gonna build a friend's name that uses three of those letters. All right, okay. Now the last one has four letters because the last one is gonna be a long A word. He's gonna say its name. So remember, you're gonna need both of your vowels. A and E. E's the helper. All right. So we built the word take. So you're going to build a word that rhymes with take. And it's something you build or create. When you build something or you create something, you do this. So it rhymes with take. It uses four letters and it means to build or create. So I want to see if you can figure out what that challenge word is. So remember, you have three challenge words. The first one is an animal that looks kind of like a mouse, a little bit bigger, and they're scary looking. I'll even give you a hint. It rhymes with cat. The second challenge word is a friend's name. And this friend is in room five. And I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with ham. I just had some ham on Easter. And the third challenge word rhymes with take. And it means to build or create something. 
So I want to see if you can build those three challenge words. Remember, I'm not telling you what they are. You're going to have to figure them out, but you guys are so smart. I know you've got this. All right, guys, before we end, I'd like to take some time to pray, and then we can um, say goodbye for now. So if you'd bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we just love you so much. We thank you for giving us letters. We thank you for how you've created those letters to go together and to build words. And Lord, we just pray that we would use the words that you have given us to learn more about you. And Lord, to tell others all about who you are. Lord, we love you so much. Thank you for giving us your word, the Bible, so that we can grow and learn about you and your love for us and your love for others. We thank you for this day, and it's in Jesus' name that all the kindergartners said, Amen. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you next time.